welcome back. Our next guest has a heart to help and one way that she shows it through, is through her business. Awestruck Aspirations is a small business that aims to enhance the well-being of people with dementia, as well as their caregivers through low cost, easy to access, and easy to use activities, ideas, and resources. Let's meet Lisa Jaworski and learn more. Hello, Lisa, and welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure. No problem. So you are a recreational therapist, as well as the creator of Awestruck Aspirations. Yes. So we're going to talk about both. But first, tell us, what is a recreation therapist? <laughs> well, to keep it very simple, I like to think of, if you just use those two words, recreation therapists use recreation as therapy. So we, we have five different domains that we really focus under to help individuals who may need more uh, empowerment in, in certain areas of their life. So we focus on physical well-being, intellectual well-being, the emotional well-being, social and spiritual factors as well. So it's, it's really a holistic view. And yeah, we're here to help individuals. I work specifically with people in the older generation, 65 and over is 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 my specialty uh, specifically people who have dementia primarily but also mental health concerns so uh, yeah just figuring out how we can best support a person and find out what those abilities are and really draw on those strengths and skills a person has and from what i've read your business awestruck aspirations is it, it's connected to exactly that Right. right. So Awestruck Aspirations, the AWE is uh, capitalized because it stands for drawing on age, wisdom and experience. And the reason I feel so strongly about that is because I, I've always learned most from people older than me. And in, in my work, uh, it, it brings me such joy. So drawing on those three pieces to inspire and empower and educate all of us is really important. And I think reducing the stigma around people even who have memory loss and same as how we're working towards seeing people who have mental health conditions as you know kind of everyday life so by seeing people with dementia or memory loss as people who still have um, information and experience to give back to the rest of us i think is is just crucial yes and so how does your business what exactly does your business do to support them so at this point, during the beginning of COVID, I started a YouTube channel and have just really been exploring different ways to just get information out there on how we can communicate with one another, what are best practice communication approach techniques. And so Awestruck Aspirations right now currently just has an Etsy shop. And the reason I created that is so that anyone can have the resources and tools and activities that can be drawn on by family members and friends, as well as home care companions and long-term care and recreation activity professionals. So just giving us some extra resources to draw on to see the positives and the strengths that individuals with memory loss continue to have. Okay. Now I may be way behind the times, but what exactly is an Etsy shop? <laughs> <laughs> so Etsy, if you were to look up Etsy.ca or Etsy.com, it's like a marketplace. So it's a place where you can go and it's full of um, small business or handmade products. So they might be physical products that people can ship to you. Uh, mine are digital downloads or you know instant downloads. So you don't get anything shipped to you physically, but mine are more printed uh, resources. So for example, I have one called the conversation cues and it's all life story questions and and you know just to start conversations with individuals um so for mine it's a matter of you purchase for a couple of dollars really that's that's all it is and then once you have that it's yours to use whenever you want they can be printed as many times as you want so it just really supports local businesses i guess in a different way more online in the online community uh and yeah with me not having a heap of time when I do also work that this is a great way for me I felt like to give back in a different way 
Well, thank you so much, Lisa, for being here and for sharing your business with us. Thank and please, Londoners, please go visit her on Etsy and uh, support support the work that she does. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much for having me.